Brianna Kay has been posting some interesting content lately. I've heard so many different opinions about Brie's new content. Let's go over a few. Some people are confused. They think Brie's off her rocker, copying other creators, mocking women on social media. Some people are saying her new content feels fake and forced, while others feel like she's desperate. It's a mess, so let's talk about it. Brie branded her channel as a mom motivation channel where she cleans and decorates real life stuff. Brie says you can find videos about my pregnancy journey, cleaning motivation, homemaking, decorating, family life, day in the life, mommy vlogs, routines, and lifestyle videos. She's never put out satire content. She doesn't play jokes on people. She doesn't prank people. Her channel is not based around comedy or humor at all. Her channel is all about selling products to her viewers, cleaning motivation, scrubbing your toilets, folding your laundry, and decorating. She's a mommy vlogger on YouTube, and she used to have a family channel on YouTube. Recently, she put out this Instagram reel that says, cleaning tip if your husband keeps leaving his clothes on the floor, throw them in the trash. Follow me for more cleaning tips. The interesting piece to this puzzle is right before Brie announced her breakup with her boyfriend Brad, she took out the trash. She said trash always takes itself out. So when she posted this reel, a lot of people thought she was dragging Brad again because people don't expect satire from Brie. She doesn't put out that type of content. So when she puts out a reel like this, people think there's some type of truth to it. When Brie puts out content, her viewers don't automatically assume this is a joke or a prank because that's not the type of content Brie typically shares. In this next video, Brie talks about how to manifest a billionaire husband. A viewer sent me this DM. There's a really popular TikTok and YouTube shorts creator named Haley Bailey. She does a lot of day in the life of a billionaire girlfriend and funny videos. She legit is dating a billionaire, but I wonder if Brie got her inspo from that. This is Haley's channel. She has over 5 million followers on YouTube and over 9 million followers on TikTok. Haley's bio says, a land where nothing is serious. Yeah, I'm sure Brie would love love to have a platform of this size. I mean, who wouldn't? In this next video, Brie is pretending to be a trad wife and a trad wife is a traditional wife. Trad wife content on TikTok is extremely popular. They're all hot and they're all like, I cook every meal for my man and the minute he gets home, I just wanna please him. Some of you women out there watching this are like, OMG, I'm a trad wife. They're usually all beautiful and it's giving 50s housewife aesthetic. Okay, episode of my trad wife life, we're making a leprechaun hummus board and some rainbow jello shots that your husband is going to love. I harvested these veggies from my local Target. Her voice sounds so different in this video, right? She's definitely changing her tone. Some people think Brie's mocking trad wives. One viewer said she's totally trying to make satire reels, hoping they will go viral. A viewer left this comment on Brie's video where she's pretending to throw her husband's clothes away. The viewer said, well, this is negative, but if it's therapeutic, do you much love? Brie said, it's satire. I don't even have a husband. Another viewer said, there are some hills I don't want to die on. Pick your battles. I just take care of the clothes. I'm sure there are things I do that drive him crazy as well. Brie said, I don't even have a husband to drive crazy, so... She's confusing some of her viewers with this content. These two viewers are actually taking her seriously. Some people don't get that she's trying to be funny. Brie claims that she's always trying to motivate and help moms and give them advice. Putting out this type of content is confusing to some because she didn't let her viewers know that she's just joking. Most people that put out satire, jokes, humorous content use hashtags to reflect the type of content they're putting out. And Brie didn't do that. Instead, Brie used cleaning, clean with me, cleaning motivation, and marriage goals as hashtags on this post. Brie also changed her Instagram bio. It reads, bits of life as a mom in my traveling self-love and not taking anyone's BS era. And she's also making content around having a billionaire boyfriend, which we all know Brie wishes she had a billionaire boyfriend. But someone left this comment on Brie's reel. 
Are you drunk or something? Bree said, ha ha, I wish. One viewer said her content is very cringy and screams desperation. She's trying way too hard to be funny. I've seen a lot of videos on TikTok similar to the one she just posted where they're more sarcastic, aggressive in their videos. I think she's just trying another trend. A viewer left this comment on Bree's Reel. I think I missed something, but love this. Bree said, just throwing shit out in the universe and seeing what sticks. I think this statement... 100% accurately describes what Brie is currently doing. Right now, her videos aren't getting that many views on Instagram and YouTube. So she's trying something different. She's trying to change up her content and go viral and get more views. And a lot of creators kind of throw shit out into the universe when they're first starting out to see what sticks. But Brie is doing this years and years and years into her career because she's trying her best to make this YouTube thing work, to make the social media thing work. Because right now she's just not getting the views I'm sure that she wants and she's not growing. Brie has tried a lot of different things on social media to make money. Let's go over a few. She had that YouTube course. She had a podcast. She had a viewer traveling trip. Remember, that never happened. She had a Patreon, a mental health Patreon. She does sponsorships for many different brands. She also posts a lot of affiliate links. And she wrote a cookbook. She had a family vlogging channel at one point. Now she has a business where she sells cleaning products to her viewers. I mean, Brie has tried it all. All but OF. Do you think OF is next? And recently she mentioned she is probably going to bring back her podcast because Brie claims a lot of people have been asking her to bring back her podcast. I cannot tell you how many times like the universe has given me the sign I need to restart the podcast. Brie said so many people talk about her podcast and say you should talk about this on your podcast. I want to come on your podcast. But I find it interesting people say things like this because she doesn't have a podcast. I mean, she's not posting on it. She hasn't posted on it in years. So if someone hasn't posted on their podcast in years and they canceled their podcast, would you say to them, hey, I want to come on your podcast when they don't even have a podcast? If there's, in the meantime, any other problems you have, you know, cleaning, with your marriage, just let me know and I'll try to solve them. She's taking on a lot here because she's going to try to solve all of our problems, but she can't even solve her own problems. So many people have said there's no way they would take her advice on marriage, divorce, or a relationship. So far in her life, she hasn't had a long-term successful marriage. So how can you give tips and tricks and advice on those things if you haven't been able to have one yourself. It will definitely be interesting to hear this content that she's putting out. I mean, I think a lot of influencers read books or they just repeat what they hear other people say. And that's how they give their viewers tips, tricks, and advice. And just because an influencer gives some type of advice to their viewers, that doesn't mean they apply it to their own life. There's an Instagram account called Luxurious Credit, and oftentimes she will post a situation like this one on the screen, and she will ask for her viewers' thoughts and opinions. Bree is all over this Instagram account, liking all the posts, and sometimes she'll leave comments. She left a comment here. I saw another comment Bree left where she was disagreeing with another viewer, and they were kind of like going back and forth. But whoever runs this Instagram account is getting a lot of engagement on her account because she's asking for other people's opinions, and people are sharing their opinions and like. Like I said, sometimes they disagree with other viewers and they go back and forth. So she is drumming up a lot of engagement on her post. I think Brie saw this and she's doing something similar on Instagram. Brie posted this reel. It says, any questions about divorce, leave them in the comments. Divorced women, answer them. I really like this trend where our community can help answer each other's questions. So basically, Brie wants her viewers to use her platform as a way to communicate with each other and answer each other's questions and talk to each other, which is good for Brie because it gets her a lot of engagement. If you have a lot of engagement on your post, it does several good things for your account. Number one, brands look at your analytics and you have to have a lot of engagement, a lot of activity 
activity on your account. The more activity you have on your account, the more a brand will pay you in a sponsorship. Also, if you have a lot of engagement and activity, comments, like, shares on your account, Instagram notices that and they will recommend your account to other people. A lot of people don't understand the back end of social media and how this works. So anytime I can explain this to you, I will. What do you think about Bree's satire content? Do you think this new content feels fake or forced? And what do you think about Brie scrambling to make something work on social media? She has a YouTube schedule now. She's posting twice a week. She's bringing back her podcast. She is literally trying to make the damn thing work. For more Brianna K drama videos, check out this one next. Thanks for watching today. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.